All right, I recently did a video about how to integrate using U substitution and the things that you really have to look out for before using the method of U sub. So in this video, I'm going to extend the ideas of U sub to integration of odd trigonometric functions. Now, if you take a look at this example here, we have the integral of cos to power 5x. Notice it has an odd power, the power of 5. Now, the way that I'm going to apply u sub here is to first write this again as the integral of cos to power 5x, but then I'm going to add another term here, and that's going to be sine to power 0x, and then dx. Now, of course, from indices, we know that any number to power 0 is always 1, so this does not change anything. But the reason I'm putting this here is because I actually want to let u to be equal to this, sine x here so that I have uh, a function and a derivative case. Of course, we know that the derivative of sine is going to be a cosine and that's really nice for me here. So let's go ahead and do that. So I will let u to be equal to sine x. That means du dx is, uh, what's that? Cosine of x. So let me substitute back here in the integral. So now I have the integral of cos to power 5x, I, I won't write this because it's actually a 1, but for dx, I will write du divided by cos x, right? So let's, let's go on with this and see what we get here. So for this now, I have integral of cos to power 4x du. Now this is not good because we have du and yet we are actually integrating a function of x. So I need to rewrite this in terms of u. How am I going to do that? Well, we actually know that sine squared x plus cos squared x equals to 1. This is basically Pythagoras theorem. So that means cos squared x is 1 minus sine squared x. So if you just look at this integral here, I could write it as the integral of, let me just choose another color here. I could write it as the integral of cos squared x with another square outside here, du. So I could just write this as, instead of cos squared, I'll put 1 minus sine squared x, du. And now we know that the value of sine x is u from here. So let's do that substitution. So we have 1 minus u squared squared du. I'll expand this quickly, uh, so that becomes 1 minus 2u squared plus u to the power 4 du. And this is a nice one. We know how to integrate this. So we have u minus 2 over 3u to power 3 plus 1 over 5u to the power 5 plus a constant. Let me substitute back for u. So we have a final answer. So instead of u, I have sine x minus 2 over 3 sine. Okay, that's going to be sine cubed x plus 1 over 5 sine to the power 5x plus a constant. All right, let's, let's go ahead and do this with uh, another example. So for my next example, Let's try out the integral, uh, let me see, let's try out the integral of sine cubed x dx. All right, I'm going to write this as the integral of sine cubed x. Then I'll multiply this by cos to power 0x dx because this one here is 1, but it helps me to create a function and derivative case here. So let's go ahead and let u to be equal to cos x the derivative of u with respect to x, that's going to be negative sine x. And then I'll substitute everything back here. So I have the integral, I'm just change colors here. So the integral of sine cubed x times, I know this is 1, so I'll not write 1. Uh, then for dx, I write du divided by negative, which I can actually put here. All right, and then I have sine x. So we'll actually have negative integral of sine squared x du. And of course, we know that sine squared x is 1 minus cos squared x. So this is important. It's, uh, it's from the trigonometric identity of Pythagoras theorem. Now I'll proceed. So I have negative integral. Instead of sine squared x, I'll write 1 minus cos 
squared x du. Uh, this is the same as, of course, cos squared x minus 1. I could just write for cos squared here, yeah, just cos squared x, I'll just write that as u minus 1 du. This is u squared, right? So my final solution here is u cubed divided by 3 minus u plus a constant, which I can finally write as, instead of u cubed, I'll write that as cos cubed x divided by 3, just put a third here, minus cos x plus a constant, so that's our final solution to this integral. Let's do the last example here. For my third example, for my third example, I'll take the integral, right, I'll take the integral of cos cubed, or cos to power 3, 2x, dx, right, let's try this, uh, I'll write this as cos cubed 2x, then I'll introduce here, not cos, really, sine to power 0, 2x, okay, dx, then I'm going to let u to be equal to this, so let's go ahead and do that, let u equal to sine uh, 2x, the derivative of this is going to be, so the derivative of 2x is 2 and the derivative of sine is cosine, so I maintain the angle, alright, there we have it, so I write this again now as the integral of cos to power 3, 2x times, this is a 1, for dx I'll write du divided by 2 cos 2x, so I have half times the integral of cos squared 2x du, but of course cos squared 2x, we know that cos squared 2x plus sine squared 2x must be a 1, so that means cos squared 2x is actually 1 minus sine squared 2x, right? So this is important here. So I'm going to write that here and just change the color here. So now I have a half times the integral of 1 minus sine squared 2x du. And I know what this is, it's actually u. So we have a half times the integral of 1 minus u squared du, which turns out to be a half into what do we have there? u minus u cubed, is that right? u cubed, or u to power 3, divided by 3, plus a constant. I'll write that as a half times, for u, I will write, uh, instead of u, I'll write sine 2x. Okay, good enough. Alright, sine 2x minus sine cubed 2x, that's over 3, plus a constant, and there we have our final solution. So thanks for watching this video. If you like this and more content like this, be sure to hit the notification bell, also the subscribe button, like this video and share, and uh, I'll see you in my next one. Thanks.